Personas has something called a gain compensation. We were setting this up on the monitor console. I was having it, uh, this console select a gain compensated stream coming from the NSB box. Now, in some digital consoles, there's generally a problem when the signal uh, goes into a digital stage box uh, and it, it gets routed to different places. Uh, only one of the consoles has control over the preamp. And if you're routing a signal from, in, from one console, uh, if you're routing it into one console and then you're passing it through to another console, that second console, whatever that console is downstream, um, is going to have an issue with, uh, with having proper gain on it. So what uh, Personas did was introduce something that allows for the monitor console uh, to almost completely control the level of its own gain separate from the front of house console. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, and we're on the monitor console here and said all the in input streams are being are the gain compensated streams. So let's take a look at, I'm on input three. Let's take a look at three. And this uh, knob right here, this virtual knob right here is a digital gain. And that's what allows us to have a separate gain control from the front of house console. So I've got this selected here, and I am going to turn up this digital gain a little bit. Test one, two, test one, two. And you can tell that it's getting louder. And with Personas, there is, uh, they provide a plus and minus 20 dB of gain uh, under a gain compensated stream. So I've got it turned up here, test one, two. I'm going to turn it down here quite a bit. Yeah, that's negative 20, so you can't even hear it. All right, this is our front of house level. One, two, let's select this. Two, one, two, 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 two. All right, let me just turn that down a little bit. In fact, one, two. All right, this is the front of house volume. All right, I'm gonna set the front of house volume at uh, about 15 dB uh, for this example. Test, one, two. So what we're gonna do is is have the um, aux in level come through. Test one, two. Test one, two. All right, and you can tell there on the bottom of the screen I've got this pushed up. I'm gonna just say unity there. Okay, now we're just gonna add gain to it. Test one, two, one, two. And as you can tell, that's coming louder and louder through the uh, monitor speaker. Test one, two. Test one, two. So the gain compensated stream, we have quite a bit of control over the gain that we need for uh, the monitors. And we can adjust the monitor gain completely uh, independent, for the most part, completely independent from the front of house console. That's, uh, that's a pretty neat feature that um, I, I assume that there's other console manufacturers that have that. So the whole premise behind this is Get the gain settings uh, conducted first on your front of house console. And then you're gonna focus on gaining up over here on the monitor console. Now, over here on the front of house console, let's uh, just take whatever channel three here. If we are adding, let's say we needed 20 dB of gain for us to have a good front of house sound. When we came over to the front, of, pardon me, when we come to the uh, monitor console, the monitor console is starting out at 20 dB gain. So from there, we can reduce the gain by 20 dB, or we can increase the gain by another 20 dB if we need to. All right, something to note if you're using uh, Presonus consoles and you're gonna do this, uh, when you go uh, for your scenes, you, anytime you're using a digital setup, you need to use projects. 
Now I know for uh, some of you, before they had projects and scenes, they just had these scenes set up and then uh, you just constantly added more scenes and then projects came out and I think people just selected whatever the, a default project was and they added all these other scenes to it. But if you're working in digital, uh, using the digital solution, you need to use the projects because projects store the networking, the AVB information. Scenes do not store that AVB networking, only projects do. So if you start using something like this, start getting used to using projects uh, to save all your, um, to save your whole scene. Uh, for example, here I've got um, digital front house monitor setup as a project, and I've got sort of the same thing here as a scene. Now, if you don't use projects, if you're setting this stuff up and you don't use projects, if you think your stuff's going to be saved in a scene because you're switching a, sh a scene, uh, the AVB information is probably not going to be there for you. So try to always select projects to do any kind of your uh, digital work in. On here, if I go into the remote I.O. setup, what I am selecting over here is Studio Live 32 SE. I've got this selected. So this console is looking at this console over here. Now the mode for this console, it's set to standalone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this console to be a monitor mixer. And this is what the Personas documentation is showing. And then what I want you to do is watch this console over here and I hope it shows up on the camera. Okay, here's a monitor mixer. In fact, let me just pan it over here a little bit. I'm gonna hit apply. All right, you probably saw this console change. This console is now set for monitor mixing only. Everything is yellow here. Everything's yellow here. We've got a bright yellow here. So no matter what I hit, in fact, I can't even access the main mix. It will not allow me to do it. The only thing that I can do on this console is box mixing. That's pretty neat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this back to a standalone mixer. So I'm telling the 32 that the 32SC, the monitor mixer is actually going to be a standalone mixer. And then, if we come back over to it, we can select the main mix. We can still do look at monitor mixes, but we have control over a main mix. All right, thanks for watching.